our take on the EP A to Z minnow. Um, you know, those of you that have been around 239 flies for a minute know that I like to just put as many materials on a hook shank as humanly possible. Uh, I found out at our first fly tying night that that's not always a uh, productive method for uh, making smiles. So we kind of uh, came up with a little simpler, you know, two-step, two-material pattern to where even a very novice tire can tie a really nice fly that'll, that'll catch fish. Um, this is our take on the EP A to Z minnow. It's literally two brushes and a pair of eyes, and it's very easy to make a nice bait fish profile with it. Uh, this will work on the beach, this will work in the backwater, this will work anywhere. You can really kind of cater the colors too to whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, with the amount of colors of brushes that these things come in, I'd say you've got eh, conservatively, conservatively maybe 4.7 million different combinations of, of minnows you can make. So I'm going to show you how to make one of them right now. So let's do it. All right, so let's talk about materials. Uh, the A to Z, or my variation of the EP A to Z minnow is, it's very simple. It's literally three ingredients if you count the eyes. You can tie it on damn near any hook you want. I prefer something short shank, wide gap, Gamagatsu SC15, but uh, yeah, apart from that, it's just a few brushes. We got, uh, we're going to use the three inch craft fur brush, the inch and a half minnow brush, uh, some plastic eyes, some thread, and some zap gel. Nothing, nothing from NASA. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get started. Grab my SC15 2O and crank her in there. We're going to use blue thread today. Attach your thread, start at the eye, work it back to right where the hook starts to level out. Maybe when the thread bob, or maybe when the bobbin hangs, it's eh, just between the point of the hook and the um, barb of the hook. Uh, from here, real simple, still got a little piece of this over here. You can reduce, reuse, recycle. This is the tan or sand and chartreuse. EP craft fur brush. This is this, this fly is an absolute nothing burger. This this will fill up your fly box in a hurry. You got some space in there. You need some little minnow patterns. You want to tie them in a bunch of colors. Give your fly box some life. This will do it. All right. Attach that. Grab your hackle pliers. You're gonna bring your thread to about. Mm, halfway down the hook shank, right in between where it's tied in and the eye of the hook. And then we're just going to wrap. Probably going to wrap about 11 times. Two, three, 11, uh, let's give it 12. About half of the brush. You should be able to get a dozen flies minimum out of both packs of brushes. You're going to run out of eyes because the eyes come 20 to a pack. So you got, you've got flies, or you got eyes for 10 flies, but you got brush for at least 12. Snip this off there. Don't worry that this looks like a hot mess. We're gonna fix it here in just a second. This should. Tease this up. Pull this out. I got the most of them. I've been using this handy dandy little contraption. Oh yeah, now we're talking. All right, that's, that's it, that's the tail. That's the tail and the collar. Like, how easy was that? Let's reach for our minnow head brush. All right, if you're just starting a new piece, trim that little bit off there, you don't need that. And then you tie this in. You're gonna tie it right back to where you left off with the craft fur brush. Aqua pliers make this step easy. And we're just going to wrap this probably 10 to 11 times as well. That's one, two, six. Make sure you're palmering this as you go by. You don't want it to bunch up on you. All right, so I got, I got nine or 10 out of it, which is fine. All we did was cover it. Cover the hook shank, which was 
was our sole mission in this fly's life. You can split the fibers, crank it over. Again, don't worry too much about it being a hot mess. We can trim it up here in a second. Pull all this back. And then just give it a few wraps over. And then from there, that's pretty much it. You can whip finish if you like. Four, five, bam. All right, that's it. All the rest from here is manual labor. Grab my brush here again. Tease this out. Shape this all up nice and nice like. Next step works a little bit better if you use a razor. I bet you this one's dull as hell. Eh, it's not actually not too bad. And you're just going to level out the sides. Not getting too crazy or carried away. Hit the bottom. Nice steep angle. Pull that off, and then just a little bit up top, not much. And then come in with your scissors and just flatten it out. Okay, like, see I took a little bit too much off right there, but that's all right, we'll cover it up. Pretty much the last step here. Got some 4.5 millimeter yellow eyes. There's a little trick for these guys, all right? so. A lot of guys don't like these because if you were to cut these with your scissors, and I'll show you, you're gonna get a, let's cut this with our scissors. First off, it's a pain in the butt, but see that hump right there? That's gonna be difficult to glue on. That's not flat and nice and easy. So you need a pair of flush cutters. Let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison here. This is what's gonna help you get max zap gel on that eye, so it's gonna stay on. And it's not gonna look like a hot mess. So there's the wrong tool for the job, there's the right tool for the job. Zap gel. If you need to glue your fingers together, this is definitely the glue to use. Fresh tube, a little punch. I like to just put a little bit of glue on the fly. Right where the eyes are gonna go. Just a little bit, not a lot. I've got just a little bit of glue on the end of my bodkin. Just enough to hold it, uh, hold the eye on there. And I'm going to ever so gently, without touching the glue, Stick the eyeball on there. Bodkin really does you wonders in this situation. Just touch that on there so it stays. Just with delicate surgeon hands, not touching the glue. You can tell if you hit the, if you touch the glue by doing this. If your fingers are stuck together, you touch the glue. Maybe keep them away from your eyes. But that is that. I mean, you could probably tie about 100 of those in an hour. You can get a little carried away with your color schemes. Last step would be to hit it with a little bit of the, the sauce. I like the UV thin for this. Flow works too, but the thin is where it's at. For finishing the fly, in my opinion. Just a nothing burger. Not much to it. Two brushes. Beginner tire could tie this in five minutes and have an effective fly to go catch some fish. And you can sit here and you can just trim it up as much as you want, but to get it to look as perfect as you want it to get looking. My take on the A to Z minnow. Is that easy or what?